Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with my UMass football predictions for the 2019 college football season. Before I continue, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel. It'll be greatly appreciated if you do that. I have a subscriber goal of 200 subscribers, which I'll love to hit by August 24th, so go ahead and hit that subscriber button. If you're not subscribed away, it'll be greatly appreciated if you do that and you won't regret it. Uh, UMass football predictions right now uh, will go through the pros and cons, best case, worst case scenario. Three toughest, three easiest games. Then we'll go through the schedule game by game. I'll tell you which games I have UMass winning and losing. Then I'll give you a final record prediction. One of a quick note, don't hold me to the game by game picks and the scores. Just hold me to the final uh, record prediction. Let's start off with the pros and cons. One pro and one con. I kind of just picked the best out. The uh, best out both evils. Um, I the, uh, the I kind of picked the uh, worst of two evils. Whatever. Um, I think the pros the offense, the cons the defense. Listen, UMass is mediocre all around. Let's be real. They're pretty balanced throughout the whole team. I'm going to say the offense is better than the, than the uh, defense this year, so that's why I went with the uh, offense as a pro and defense as a con. Best case and worst case scenario, here's the schedule right here. Front of you, best case scenario, 6-6. Six and six. You look at the schedule, Rutgers, Southern Illinois, Charlotte, Coastal Carolina, Akron, uh, UConn, Liberty, uh, and that's just about it. Seven games right there. I think at best you win six out of seven. Worst case scenario, two and ten, you only win two out of seven games. So, because let's be real, you are losing the against FIU, Louisiana Tech, uh, Army, Northwestern, and BYU. Uh, but let's go. Let's talk about your three toughest games: Northwestern, Army, and Louisiana Tech. Uh, Northwestern, probably the best team you face all year. You get them on the road. It's gonna be a really tough game for you all. I give you no shot on that one. Army. Another team where you get them on the road as well. I think you're, I think that's going to be a really tough game. I give you no shot at all. And then Louisiana Tech on the road, I give you a puncher's chance in that game, but they have a, pre, a, a pretty good defense. They might be shutting you guys down. Three easiest games, Southern Illinois, UConn, and Charlotte. Uh, Southern Illinois, FCS opponent. I think they're one of the better FCS uh, schools, though. UConn, terrible team in the um, – and the American worst team in the American actually. And then Charlotte, one of the worst teams in the conference USA. By the way, UMass is an independent. They did not play in a conference. Now let's go through the schedule game by game. I'll tell you which games I have UMass winning and losing. First game, one of the road against Rutgers. Went back and forth with this one. I think Rutgers will win a game this year. I think this is going to be the game that Rutgers wins. I have UMass losing this one 38-27. to This is a Friday night game, by the way, on the road against Rutgers. Next game, Southern Illinois at home win. You should be Southern Illinois without a problem. It's an FCS school. 49 to 21 UMass. Next game at Charlotte. I went back and forth with this one. I had to give it to Charlotte. Um, listen, I try to find wins on the schedule for each team because I usually predict the one team to go 12 and 0 and one team to go 0 and 12, and then at least pick every other the rest of the teams to at least have one win. I think Charlotte they win this one by two points, 40 to 38. Next game, Coastal Carolina at home. I gave you the, the uh, loss here, 47-31. to 31. They're just a better team than you at this time. Next game, Akron at home. I went back and forth with this one. I don't think Akron's that good of a football team. I think you guys go ahead and win this one, actually, by a touchdown. So, is at home. Uh, you're 1-3 at this point. You might be a bit desperate. I think you guys approved a 2-3, get a win over Akron. Next game, at FIU, loss. FIU, I think, will take a step back. But they're still going to beat the living breaks off you. 49-24 to FIU. Next game at Louisiana Tech. Lost. Listen, they're going to shut you guys down. 33-3 to Louisiana Tech. By the way, go check out the the uh, Louisiana Tech football prediction video if you haven't already. And the Rutgers one as well. And we, and we will be doing an FIU football prediction video. I think tomorrow, actually. Then you get your first bye week. Every team gets two bye weeks because of how the calendar aligns with the schedule. Coming off the bye week. Homecoming game at home against UConn. Win. I think you beat UConn this year. Um, it's at home. It's your homecoming game. You get the win, 55 to 49. UMass. Next game, Liberty at home. Lost. Liberty. I think Hugh Freeze alone pits Liberty ahead of some of these teams, and UMass is one of those teams. 34 to 18. Liberty. Next game at Army. Lost. No way you're being Army. 42 to 17. Army. Next game at Northwestern, loss. No way you're being Northwestern, 45 to 13. 
Final game, BYU at home. I give you a puncher's chance in this one, but your guys are going to be losing this one 37-10. to 10. And then you close out the season with your second bye week, so you really only get one bye week this year. But that's all the games. If you count up all the wins and losses, I have UMass going 3-9. and nine. Uh, Listen, I'm just not high on UMass this year. Um, they, to me, they're not that good of a football team. They'll, they'll find a way to win a few games. They went 4-8 and eight last year, and they have a new head coach as well. Uh, so they, I think they're going to take a, I think they'll uh, drop a game, uh, one more game than they did last year. But overall, three and nine for UMass. Comment down below, tell me what you think. I always like hearing from you all. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. Greatly appreciate if you do that. Thanks for watching. This is McDee the Beast signing off.